Hi everyone, my name is Henry Mitchell. Uh, I'm a debater for Emory University. Uh, and today I'm gonna to be introducing you all to the politics disadvantage. So the politics DA is really nice to have as the negative because the story stays the same besides the link argument for pretty much everything, but, uh, for every different affirmative. And the only downside is that you do have to keep updating your evidence set frequently as things do change in the political sphere quickly. So the two types of disads that we're going to be talking about today are agenda politics and elections disads. So let's start with agenda politics. So agenda politics DAs typically follow this structure. The uniqueness argument will be that some bill will be passed by Congress now. The link argument is that the plan prevents that bill from being passed in some way. And the internal link and impact argument are a reason why the bill might be good. So let's look at an example. This is the infrastructure disad from earlier this year. This bill did pass already, so it is no longer a disad being read, but let's use it as an example. So the uniqueness argument at the time was that Biden was attempting to pass a two-track infrastructure bill, uh, which he needed political capital or influence over his peers in order to pass. The link argument was that water policy being contentious required Biden to spend his influence on the plan rather than on the infrastructure bill. The internal link argument was that infrastructure is great for grid security, which is good to prevent cyber attacks, and the impact was about why cyber attacks might be bad. So a term that you'll hear a lot in these agenda politics debates is political capital, which is defined as a metaphor used in political theory to conceptualize the accumulation of resources and power built through relationships, trust, goodwill, and influence between politicians or parties and other stakeholders, such as constituents. And almost always when we're talking about political capital with agenda politics to SEDS, we're talking about the president. So in this case, it was about Joe Biden's ability to pass his agenda. Some of the different link arguments, and if you remember correctly, these are reasons why the plan might prevent another bill from being passed. So the first, which we just saw with the infrastructure bill was political capital in that the plan requires some actor in government, in this case, Joe Biden, to use their finite influence over other actors, in this case, Congress people, on the plan rather than on the agenda item, which would mean that the agenda item does not get passed. The second type of link argument is fights. So the plan causes fights either between the Democrats and Republicans or within one party, uh, which prevents Congress from passing a bill. So you can imagine, uh, a bill that requires all Democratic votes to be passed, uh, and then the plan causes Democrats to fight amongst each other, which means that they don't unify and pass the bill. The last type of link argument is floor time, and this is usually when there's a deadline coming up in Congress, so the plan takes time to pass. There's a process for passing bills. Congress has to vote. The president has to sign that bill, etc., and that can take away from time that is needed to pass an urgent bill. An example of this is government spending. So every year the government has a deadline in which they have to pass a spending bill. And if the plan requires them to use their last few days before that deadline to pass the plan rather than spending, it could mean that they fail to meet their deadline, which could have negative effects. So some different affirmative answers to the politics to SAD. Uh, the uniqueness argument, a lot of times it's not clear whether or not a bill will get the votes it needs to pass or not. And so the affirmative can say that the bill won't pass now. Uh, some of the link answers, uh, when we're talking about political capital links, uh, we could say that the theory of political capital is flawed or incorrect entirely. Uh, there's a debate about that. And when we're talking about fights, we could say that they're already happening now or over other issues, i.e. if we're talking about the Democrats being unified in order to pass a bill, we could say that the Democrats are fighting right now over something external to the plan, which would mean that there is no uniqueness for the link argument. When we're talking about the impact and internal link, we could say that the bill is not as good as the negative says it is, or we could even say that the bill is bad. We could say that the infrastructure bill is not as crucial for cybersecurity as the negative says it is, or we could say that the infrastructure bill is bad in some way, such as that it overstimulates the economy and that it could be bad for other reasons. So the second type of disad that you might see in politics scenarios is elections. And there's two types of elections that we talk about, presidential elections and midterm elections. So these function ultimately very much the same in that there is, some candidate or candidates, if we're talking about midterms, that will win the election now. 
The link argument is that the plan changes voters' minds about who to vote for or whether to vote, which changes the outcome of the election. The eternal link and impact argument is that the other candidate or candidates would be bad. So let's look at an example. This is from last year's college topic, which was about reducing alliance commitments or allies with the United States. And so everything besides the link argument would be the same on the current high school topic, other than the fact that the 2020 election already happened. The uniqueness argument at the time was that Biden will win the 2020 election, but it was close. The link argument was that the plan, which involved reducing alliance commitments, would change how desirable Trump seemed because he had a lot of anti-interventionist rhetoric that he never followed through on, which the plan would allow him to claim he has done. The internal link and impact arguments here were that Trump re-election would be really, really bad for global warming. So some of the different link arguments, some of the ways that the AF could change the way that voters turn out or vote, one is perception that the plan makes the incumbent candidate look bad, which flips the direction of some of the voters and swinging the election. For example, if the populace was really in favor of fracking and the plan made Biden remove fracking or ban fracking, then it might change the way that some people vote because they now see the other candidate as being more desirable. The second is positive voter turnout, which which would be the plan increasing the likelihood that people vote for the worst candidate. For example, if people were not going to vote, but then Biden did something that made them very upset, they might then decide that they need to go out and vote for the opposing candidate. A negative voter turnout argument would be that the plan decreases the likelihood that people vote for the better candidate uh, and decide not to vote at all. So for example, if there's a group of people that were really, really hoping uh, for some for something to happen and we're going to vote for Biden to ensure that happened and then Biden did the thing that they were hoping he would do then they no longer see a need for them to go out and vote. So some of the affirmative answers to this election scenario uh, on the uniqueness front elections are never for sure and so the better candidate might not win now and so the affirmative can contest what the negative is saying about who the election is going to favor in the status quo. The link argument, they could be wrong about whether or not the plan is favorable. If you think back to that fracking example that we had a minute ago, the negative might say that the populace is very in favor of fracking and the affirmative might counter that by saying that the populace is very against fracking, which would mean that the link argument that the negative has made is wrong. Another type of answer, which is probably the strongest, is that other priorities matter a lot more to voters. The way that the pandemic has played out, the way that the economy is looking right now, larger types of foreign policy goals, those things could matter a lot more to voters than some water policy like the app. And in terms of the internal link and impact, the affirmative could say that the candidate the negative team says is good is either the same or worse than the other candidate. So if you think back to the Biden and Trump election, the affirmative could say that a Trump, a Trump 2020 victory would have been very good for some reason, uh, and that would be a sufficient answer to this disadvantage, which says that Trump would be bad. Thank you all for listening. Uh, I hope that you all now have a little bit of knowledge and are ready to deploy some politics to SADS.